Hi, welcome again to Accordion Cafe and uh, vacuum cleaner, not um, not shocking up and uh, on a Henry uh, get that way. and um, the problem is uh, we've taken the head off uh, there's plenty of suction from underneath in the motor but um, the bag's okay <coughs> but uh, still not sucking up well uh, check the pipes and the problem could be in here uh, which very often is just clean the bit of this rubbish out of the way here um, so we're gonna just have a look inside this carpet head here undo these four screws These are just Phillips screws in here. It's usually blocked up around here. There's a lot of muck around the outside as well, as we can see. This is often overlooked, you see, when, when your vacuum cleaner starts to um, the long screws are on the outside too, that one and that one, the shorter ones go in there and there. You can take this apart fully. There's a couple of springs inside here which don't lose. And there we are. Now look at that. So that's, that's a, 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 well, that's a total contribution to no suction. This is not a, this is not a filter or a, a, a gasket. This is just, um, muck and uh, looks like dog hairs and carpet hairs and it's, it's all going to be got out like that you see get it all out it doesn't take long make sure there's no gunky stuff left in there bits of chewing gum and stuff like that because we think that our vacuum cleaner can cope with anything well they can't cope with anything Now this is just going to be a quick job and we can get this out again this is not a gasket this is just muck and we can get underneath here underneath the brush part here there's our two springs by the way and uh, we can clean this out get all this muck off here This is your gadget that um, does the up and down for flat floors and carpets. So I'll make sure you put that back in. Now the brushes, that goes in there. The, um, these brushes, if you've got a wire brush, uh, you can go over this with a wire brush and clean it all out. If you've got a dog, and you use a slicker brush, which is a very, it's a wide wire brush. It's excellent for cleaning these out. Make sure you clean it up after though. Don't use it straight away on the dog. <laughs> and then you can clean all this brush out. But for this video, I'm not gonna mess about too long because it'll make the video too long and I don't wanna bore you stupid as well. And, um, a bit of a problem there by the looks of it, it's got uh, damaged. So we'll test it afterwards and see how well it works. And if it doesn't work as good as it should, then we shall have to, um, see I nearly put that upside down then. This is the real thing here folks, you know. There's no, there's no trick photography here. down properly. Take this off again. Oh, it's missing one here. 
Okay. Springs out here. This stuff, it looks like a felt pad, it's not, it's just muck. And uh, those springs go up that way. And then we can carefully place this back on there. It's in the right position. It's functioning okay. As I say, you'll need to clean yours up a little bit more than this because I'm just doing this for speed. I mean, I like to strip these down and wash them out and give them a good clean up with the greenback um, scourer. But just for the sake of the video, I'm not going to mess about like that. Now the two short ones go in here. Now, just make sure it's functioning right. Seems okay. And there we are. As I say, uh, to do a proper job, you need to strip it down, clean all the brushes out with like a wire brush across and you get all this gunk off and give it a wash and a scrub out. And uh, then we know that's, that's that done and no more problem with that not sucking up properly. Okay, thanks for watching. Accordion Cafe, over and out.